Hello everybody, this is Stocky here, and welcome to another episode of me playing Dwarf Fortress. Um, now, it's been a little while since I played this, but in the last episode, I believe that I basically set up uh, a couple of different magma forges and some smelters. We are just waiting on um, some people with a masonry skill to come and build these things. So hopefully that won't be too long. Hopefully that won't be too long. And while we're waiting for that I can have a look up here and see if I remember what's going on with things. Um, like I said it's been just a little while since I played so I'm just trying to get everything back into the I guess the swing of things. I'm also hoping you guys can hear the sound sense sound this time because last time I had some uh, significant issues that were really a pain. All these bedrooms as well now. Hoping that I've got all of these set up correctly. It's looking like I do. That's excellent. I'm going to bring up Dwarf Therapist quickly. <clears throat> so how many dwarves do I have now? Um, a total of 18 dwarves. How many beds do I have? More than 18. That's good. How are they doing for happiness? Yeah, they're all fairly happy, which is not too bad. Um... I guess all that remains now is to unpause things and see what happens for a little while. So, somebody needs to be making... You're doing an individual combat drill. That's not cool. I don't want you to do an individual combat drill. Needs logs. Okay. Uh, cut trees. Let's cut a bunch of trees down. Who is my woodcutter? And why is he not cutting wood? Whoa! Everything just thawed out. Okay, so woodcutter, woodcutter, woodcutter. Could that be you? No, you. You're my woodcutter. And you're asleep. Um... Yeah, pretty much sucks to be you. Well, it sucks to be me when I need you. There are those ravens again. Dung them. See if any of them are annoying me. What is the war dog doing? The war dog is being attacked by puppies. Um, I think there's like a key you can press to see if there's more units on the same square. Doesn't look like there is though. That puppy's just messing with that dog though. I now have a stray donkey. Stocks, how are we doing for ammunition and things like that? Everything's not looking too bad. Wow, I've got seven silver war hammers, steel spear. I really do have lots of different weapons, which is good. Um I still, though, am not in a position where I can start to use those furnaces of mine, though. Where are they? Must be somewhere here. Yep, there it is. So I've got these forges, if I had bars. Um, what are we looking at here? Silver bars, lead bars, more silver bars. Lots of silver bars. We've got lots of hematite here now. We just need to be able to make use of it. And that is going to need somebody to come down here and build it. Somebody with the masonry skill. So which of my guys has the masonry skill? My mason does, and my stone crafter does. So my mason is taking a break, typical, and my stone crafter is making coffers. 
going to need to give somebody else the skill. Expedition leader it is. Prepare to be a mason. Construct building. Excellent. Ah, more kittens. Just what I needed. Cancel. Carpenter cancels making wheelbarrow. No trees. Okay. P. Let's make a wood stockpile because I don't think I made one of those yet. Let's make it start here and fill that area up there. That should make it just a little bit quicker and hopefully it should put some of these idle dwarves into a job of hauling wood. Hopefully. Wow, I've got lots of stuff in that uh, stockpile just there. What are these things? Dense floor fungus. Yeah, whatever takes their fancy. Um, ah, look at that. He's built two magma smelters. So you're going to add a new task now. You're going to smelt hematite ore. Then you are going to... Um, I want to make pig iron. But I'm going to need some hematite ore first. And I'm also going to need to head back up to, I think it was about here. Yep. I'm going to, need to add a new task to make some charcoal. So I'm going to need charcoal. Five, I think, is probably good. Because I'm going to need charcoal to be able to do the next step. Wow, I have lots of gems now. You cut. Repeat. Add. Cut. Repeat. Add. Cut. Repeat. Add. Cut. Repeat. Add. Cut. Repeat. I think most of these gems are pretty much useless. I mean, and by useless I mean they're just really cheap ones. So what have I got here? In this bar and lock stockpile, lots of lead and silver bars. Um, I totally don't know where this is. Go. Let's give my weapon smith some jobs now. Let's add a new task. Create a weapon from silver. Let's make silver war hammers and put that on repeat. And then we'll make some silver bolts as well. So now hopefully... Yep, excellent. So you can see just here, this guy is now making me charcoal. And that's excellent because once he's made that charcoal, somebody in the furnace operating group should be coming down here and smelting this ore. Um, I'm not seeing it happen though. Who is my guy? Who has furnace operating? We've got the militia commander the woodcutter, the presser, and the peasant. So, what are they doing? The presser is smelting the ore. Okay, so where are you? Ah, you're there. You're on your way. Nice. Hopefully you should be there soon. Come on. Walk, 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 walk. There we go. Carrying the ore. You're taking the bars and you're going to make the tools. Um, just wondering if I have a lot of stuff here. Okay, there we go. He's now smelting the hematite. Uh, he's now doing that bit. And hopefully it shouldn't be too long and we'll be good to go. He's thirsty. Whoops, I pressed the wrong key then. So 
it's uh, I'm pretty sure he's now smelted the hematite. Oh wow, look at that. Yep, there are four lots of iron bars in there. So now we should be able to add a new task to make pig iron bars. Hopefully I should have enough to be able to do that like that. Hopefully. Now I am a little concerned that I might get attacked soon. Because I think, if I remember correctly, yeah, we've fought off a Cobalt Thief already. So that probably means it's not too long before I start to get my first ambush. What is my miner doing? My miner has no job, so I'm going to do something a little unusual here. I'm going to designate a job for my miner. Okay, what we're going to do is come down to where is my dining hall? Okay, that's my dining hall just there. So I want to come up from there, up inside the wall. So I'm thinking just here will be good. I just want to go I for up down stairway. Build it there. Um, yeah, that should be far enough away from everything. And then we're going to mine out. Basically, what I want to do here is mine out a bit of a pond. So we're going to go. Um, two, three, four, five. That's a good size pond there. And how am I going to get them access to it? Thinking probably from just here is going to be the best way. Because I want to set myself up to have um, I basically I want to set myself up. Wow, he's gone through that really quick. Hit a bunch of different things on the way down. I basically want to get this set up. This is going to be a pond that's going to store a whole lot of water from the river. Oh, okay. So my first of my new wave of dwarves has come in. wonder how many we're going to get. Let's check Dwarf Therapist. Read Dwarves. Wow! We just got 26 new dwarves in. And I'm sure we're going to have some dwarves that are really good at some things that I probably need. So let's have a look what we got. Um, uh, we absolutely have ourselves a doctor. So I'm going to turn on all of those skills for you. 11 for diagnosis. Wow. You are now set nickname Chief Medical Dwarf. Who else have we got that's an expert at something? Expert soap maker. Spinner. Hmm. Spinner's not exactly what I was hoping for. We've got, we've got an 11 over here. Uh, 11 for weaponsmithing. You. Are going to be my great weaponsmith. Hope I didn't just turn off your weaponsmithing. Weaponsmith, yes, I did. Oops, my bad. Uh, so you're a wood burner. That's going to be your job. Wood burner. Of 
we have a an expert mechanic which is you I believe perfect okay so seeing as I now have a gr expert mechanic I'm gonna turn you off mechanics so that we have the expert doing it um, seeing as we have an expert weaponsmith Actually, I'm going to leave you on, and then I can have two weaponsmiths working at once. Got two expert wood burners. So I'm definitely going to turn everybody else off wood burning. Don't want any of the other people um, not doing a good job of it basically going to go through now and just make sure that only the people that are really good at things are actually doing them. I thought I turned all those on. Oh wow, look at that. I have two people that are both excellent doctors. Okay, so I'm going to have to now go to the role screen and see which of my chief meds is actually going to be the best at being a chief medical dwarf. So here we have chief med and chief med. Um, he's going to be a 12 and he's going to be an 8. So the second guy is no longer going to be a chief med, he is just going to be med. He's still good, but not as good. Back to labors, what else have we got? Who else have we got? There's Excellent. We have you. You are an expert farmer. Well, in fact, I have two expert farmers. A, huge, a bunch of... Oh, wow, look at that. A bunch of really good fishermen. People who have an 11 in something else are not going to be fisher, fisher dwarves. That leaves you two. Which is probably going to be plenty of fishing. Yep, I'll take all that off you. And off you. Like I said, don't want you doing all those silly things. Now, let's check out from a military perspective. Who have we got that's got the skills? Okay, your name. Hammer. That nickname that's supposed to be a capital H on Hammer. Anybody else with Hammer Dwarf skill? No, just the one. Okay. You are a medical dwarf. You. What are you actually good at? You're not much other than an axe dwarf, so your name is now going to be Axe. And you, where, where's Hammer Dwarf? Okay. Hammer. What are your other skills? Not much other than being a Hammer Dwarf. So that's, that works for me. So you're my Hammer Dwarf. Uh, axe. You're pretty good as well. You're a Medical Dwarf, so I don't want you. And who's the other guy? My Wood Burner. Don't really want you either. Uh, Tanner, Miller... I have a steel spear, so maybe if I can find a spear dwarf. What's your job? You're a fish dissector. Yeah, your name is now Spear. Okay, so let's head back. Um, let's go to, whoops, M for military. So, okay, so we have to wait a little while till all the dwarves are on the screen. Okay. 
Aha, here we go, excellent. Just let this run for a little while until all my people are on the screen. I think most of them are now. Okay, Noble, now we need a Chief Medical Dwarf. And it is going to be... Um, well, it's going to be Chief Med, but apparently he's not on the screen yet, so we'll have to wait a little while longer. What just happened then? Did that just happen like today? The 16th of Slate. Oh no. Uh oh. Monkeys. Monkeys, 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 monkeys. Okay, in that case, we are going to go squad menu. A and B. We're going to move all of the all of my units to here and hopefully hopefully they should stop uh, being eaten by the monkeys well, let's check out what just happened the ranger sends a flying bronze bolt and strikes the grey langur in the front foot and a tendon has been torn. Now, I didn't actually see that happen, which is a bit disappointing. I think we just killed a monkey. Ooh. The flying bismuth bronze bolt strikes the grey lagur in the upper body, tearing the muscle and tearing the heart. A major artery in the heart has been opened by the attack. Uh, he dead. Well, that's my mechanic is shooting. Ooh, I heard a... Strikes it in the left rear foot, tearing the muscle. An artery has been opened by the attack. It missed, it missed. I counter-strike, I miss. It misses. I counter-strike, I bash it in the body with my iron crossbow. Wow. The Axdorf grabs... Let's have a look how this one's going. He just got shot. So let's go W for wounds. Ooh, lower body and guts. I think that's another one. Strikes it in the right ear, tearing the skin. Strikes it in the left ear, chipping the bone. Gives in, falls over to the pain. I'm hoping, now if I go to Noble screen, hopefully, Chief Medical Dwarf. There we go. Chief Med. So now if I go to Z, I should have a health screen. And I should be able to start checking out the status of some of my people. So who was it that got bit? Now that puppy's a bit injured. Mr. Mook, hey? What are you currently carrying? You've got your wooden crossbow. But you don't appear to have... I was going to say, you don't appear to have any ammunition left. We just picked up a thief. Wow. He's... Wow. Fighting it and wrestling it. Wow. Two pages of flak like, fighting. The Cobalt Thief. The militia commander charges the Cobalt Thief. Cobalt Thief is knocked down. Bashes the Cobalt Thief in the upper right leg. 
Cobalt Thief stands up. I charged at him. Wow, where is he? I have no idea where he is and I want to find out now. Cobalt Thief. Let's go zoom me on the creature. Where is his little X? Aha. Oh, I think he just got shot with a crossbow bolt. Yes, he did. Look at that. Oh, he's in extreme pain. So what just happened? Hammer Dwarf bashes him with... Oh, this is what I wanted to see. Um, here we go. The Hammer Dwarf strikes at the Cobalt Thief, but the shot is parried. The militia commander misses the Cobalt Thief. The Hammer Dwarf bashes the Cobalt Thief in the lower body with a silver war hammer, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Cobalt stands up. The militia commander bashes the Cobalt Thief. The Hammer Dwarf bashes the Cobalt Thief in the lower left arm with her Hammer Dwarf fracturing the bone. Oh, wow. Upper body with a silver war hammer, bruising the muscle, jamming the right false ribs through the liver and tearing the liver. Thought these monkeys were in trouble. I'm wondering are there any monkeys left now? Two monkeys left, but they seem to have nicked off pretty quick. I'm going to go to my squads and go to A and B. I'm going to cancel all their orders, tell them to go back about their day job. I'm just going to quickly check to make sure none of my dwarves are in too bad a state. Looks as though everyone survived pretty well. Now I'm going to go back to my stock screen. Stocks, where were we? Ammunition. Let's unforbid these things. Large iron dagger. Hey, that could have really messed things up if that had got me. We've got something else that's forbidden. That will just get them to collect all of the things that were dropped by the by those different people. Now where were we? Mason's workshop, butcher's workshop. Let's butcher a, a dead animal and whack, put that on repeat and let's Who is attacking who at the moment? Yeah, flying copper bolts. A major artery has been opened by the attack. That's another monkey that's about to die. I think that one there is the only monkey that's not in trouble. Okay. The copper roses, we're going to attack. We are going to get that monkey. There goes the bolt. It's hit him. Let's see what happened. Right. I don't think I read that correctly. No. Left front foot hit. Get him. Ah, uh, he's moving slow now. In extreme pain. Let's check the combat log. Flying silver bolt strikes it in the left front foot, tearing the muscle. Silver bolt in the right leg, tearing the muscle. It falls over. The bolt hits it, chipping the bone and chipping and tearing the tendons. So dead now. Another dead one. Nice work. So now where were we? Uh, we want to go to the stock screen. Before I forget, we want to unforbid all that ammunition now. Health. Now that I have a lot of people, I'm thinking that I'm going to pretty soon need to start doing something.
don't exactly know what it is I need to do yet but pretty soon I'm gonna to need to do something to stop wow that stockpile is completely full now so let's head down build bed Wow, I have so many beds. That is going to be a good start for the beds. Um, what is it under? We want coffers. Coffers, coffers, coffers. I think they're under F. Nope. H. See how many of these we have. Obsidian coffers are the ones we want. It's a pity I can't make it automatically pick these. Schist coffers. Obsidian coffer. So many of these things. Okay, that's all my coffers now. Let's get some of these guys doing something. Wow, we have so many of them. This is just crazy. Okay, so let's go... Okay, let's go for N for Noble Screen. Um, the Chief Medical Dwarf doesn't have any requirements. That's easy. Um, we are going to need to employ a sheriff though. Who am I going to employ as the sheriff? I think... Was it... I called, did I call him Hammer? There we are. Hammer the Beekeeper is now the sheriff. So now, Hammer the Beekeeper is going to need to have a bigger than normal room. What is that stuff? Koblatite. So let's go build a wall. Build out a Koblatite. Now what that'll mean is that'll mean he'll have like an extra big room. Oops. Because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to channel this down until it kind of hits to a point, probably about this point here. And that should give me what I need. We're going to need more chairs. So I've got one more chair. Got at least one more chair and one more table, which is excellent, because they're going to go just here in this sheriff's room. Actually, Noble, we're also going to need a hammerer. And the sheriff, who's the hammer, can also be the hammerer. Let's start by putting his table there and his chair next to it. So you can see we've got a bunch of new beds built already. I'll wait until they all get put in. Oh, 
Oh, it's raining. Okay, let them keep going for a bit longer. Okay, so we're going to go Q. We're now going to assign, make this a throne room or a study. Ah, oh, no, that's not going to work. Darn it. We need that miner to mine that out first. And we need to build a door as well. Yeah, Market client, that'll do. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. That was not what I meant to hit at all. Let's remove that construction. We want to build door. Door, door. This will at least get all my initial dwarves happy. Did I tell him to put a door there already? Maybe I did. So where were we with these rooms? Okay, those ones are all good. Excellent. So minor hurry up and mine that little room out. Why are you not doing that? Because you're digging this area out instead. Okay, that's that's okay. I can cope with that. They're not the brightest though, so you have to make it really, really simple for them. And you have to make sure that you keep this quite a distance away from everything else. Otherwise, you can end up with cave-ins, and those are really not a lot of fun. So now we go designate channel. We do the same thing again, but this time we do it a slightly smaller area again. Kind of keep working our way through like this. Oh, come on, get the last bit. Oh, whatever. Make a dining room. Assign the table to hammer. Here, make throne room study. Assign the chair to hammer. If we go to the noble screen, you'll see that hammer currently has no chests, no cabinets, no weapon racks, no armor stands. So he needs a huge bunch of stuff. So where is my craft dwarf workshop? So you go make, rock, Okay, so I need to go to my mason workshop. There you go, so we've got coffers and cabinets are coming. So let's go to here, and we'll move that up to priority order. And we'll add a new task. We need an armor stand. And, whoops. Ah, come on. hitting the wrong button all the time and then we need to cancel one of the coffers so we can add a weapon rack and then move that up and that should be everything that he needs except for a bed and we can make the bed here add bed up 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 now what that should get us is once we have all those nice things in there that should get us everything that we need 
see that we're already starting to thin some of this stuff out. I should have lots and lots and lots of monkey bits now. Meat. Wow, 83 pieces of monkey meat. Plus a whole lot of other stuff. So somebody needs to start cooking that stuff. Here we go. Kitchen render fat. Add new task. Prepare a lavish meal. Let's put that on repeat. Let's have some people cook up some nice stuff for us. You can see here they're channeling down again. Well, looks like we're channeling into some... Is that marble or limestone? Marble. So that should give us lots of flux stone. Like I said, we're going to make this a nice deep pond. To be honest, it's probably already deep enough. But sometimes you just need to be just a fraction deeper. That also reminds me, I need to go back to my mason. Do I have a second mason workshop? Craft dwarf, mechanic, metalsmith, wood furnace, smelter, wood furnace. Give my my wood burner something to do. Um, now let's go back to my military screen. Here, hammer has not been assigned to the military yet. There we go, hammer. And we also want to put who was it? Axe. So hammer, we go to equip, we want to say, whoops, for hammer, we don't want individual choice melee, we want weapon, specific weapon, we want the best silver war hammer I can get. I think the floor print is a better one than the, just a single dash, so I'm going to give him that one, an axe, specific weapon, I think somebody else already has the bronze battle axe, so that isn't going to help. Um, weapon, uh, individual choice melee for now, but that reminds me to come down here add a new task actually let's what bars do I have where is bars have I missed it? Ah, oh, there we go, bars. I've got iron, I've got silver, I've got pig iron, I've got lead, I've got charcoal. Well, then somebody here needs to add a task. To make steel. And then let's up that priority by one. And then we can hopefully make ourselves a steel battle axe. Hopefully. Actually what I'm thinking is I've got enough furnace operators, I might get you to make steel and you just to make hematite and pig iron. Wow, that's not going to work. That's just too many people now. Okay, where's furnace operating? I've got four people with the furnace operating skill. Five people. I'll turn you off. And hopefully not too many people idle at the moment. I think I'm giving them lots of work to do. Yeah, just two idlers. That's not bad.
Um, furniture. I think I've got lots of silver left. Let's make two silver statues. Where is my this area here? Build bed. Put an ashen bed in there. Build. Is it an armor stand? Need an armor stand. I must be getting close now. What is my mason doing? He's constructing the, the stands now. Okay, that's good. Build. We want H for container. Um, obsidian coffer. Build, no, not, not chair. We want F for cabinet. Needs a cabinet. I thought I'd just build one of those. Yeah. Uh, make a bedroom. Size this bedroom out a bit better. Assign a bed to hammer. Just want to make sure the hammer doesn't currently have a bed. Doesn't look like they do, so that's good. So let's check the noble screen now. How are we doing? What is weapon rack? Armor stand needs an armor stand. Weapon rack, ah, needs a weapon rack, okay. I thought we just discussed this and you were doing it. You're still building it. So maybe he's built the cabinet. Is it F for cabinet? Needs a cabinet. No, he hasn't done that either. Channel the last square out. Then my mason, who's a very busy guy. Oh yeah, wow. He still has heaps of stuff to do. Construct building suspended. B zoom building. Got a bunch of people doing a bunch of good things. Ah, darn it. Stung by a honeybee. Hope it doesn't kill him. Build. Workshop. No, build furnace. What's the key for furnace? I can never see these when I want to. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Come on! Furnace is E. Of course it should be an E, shouldn't it? Let's have someone here. Add a new task. Weapons and ammunition. 
steel steel battle axe just the one not cancelling it this time look at that he might even be building it ah it happened again okay I quit for now too hard Build cabinet. Needs cabinet. Okay, so... You. As soon as he builds that coffer, he's got to start building a cabinet. Ooh, Mason has created a masterpiece. Nice work. The next thing I need from you... Although, it really can wait... So I'm going to need floodgates. Okay. Can't make a steel battle axe. Because he needs one more piece of steel. Come on, how much steel do I have? Bars. I currently have no steel bars. What are you not making steel bars for? There's iron, there's pig iron, there's marble there. Ah, he's probably going to get the charcoal, that's what it is. I hope that's what it is. Hmm. Yep, that must be him just there. An elven caravan has arrived. Um, sweet, yep, they're going to be able to make it. Nice. wonder what we can get from the elves. Depot access. Yep, that's fine. They'll make it all the way through. So now let's go to here. Say, so trade needed a depot. Let's move goods to and from the depot. And let's sort by value. Let's send a bunch of food. Why not? Let's put the weapon bin there as well. Um, let's see how we go with some of these mechanisms. Turkey hen eggs. I think those mechanisms are all going to be worth quite a lot, which could be good. Large shell opal. City and plant pot. Some more mechanisms. Now, elves really don't like you trading things that are made of wood. In fact, they basically hate you and attack you if you trade them wood. Obsidian pots, though, I think I can trade with them. But as if I would trade booze, that's just that's just crazy. So I want to get rid of all my gems because I have no real use for my gems. Definitely not going to get rid of those things. Lots of gems that aren't worth very much. Aha. Uh -huh. Back to some obsidian crafts. More gems.
Okay, I think that's just about it now. So, time to start moving all that stuff. And while we're doing that, let's build F cabinet. Now let's see how we're doing on the noble screen. Build armor stand. What's weapon rack again? I know I saw it not that long ago. Ah, I always blank when I need to see it. Ah, for weapon rack. Now once those are all placed in there, we're going to see how he does. Got so many guys, they should all be doing their jobs. Okay, the sheriff has now got all the critical items. Oh no, these are all needs. Needs a chest, needs a cabinet, needs a weapon rack, needs an armor stand. Okay, those two are married. Hammer and axe are both married. Oh, that's cool. So check the noble screen now. He now has everything that he needs. Perfect. Um, ah, excellent. The elves have arrived. Um, let's check how we're going. Still a bunch of pending stuff left. So I'm going to let them transfer all that stuff there, and then once that all gets there, I'm going to see how we go. And I think I'm probably coming to the end of the video here. Just want to get all that stuff there. Yep, everything is now there, so I'm going to say that's an end to the video now. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and this series as much as I am. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing Dwarf Fortress at the moment. In fact, on my bit of a break that I had, I played about an hour of this, which is the most that I could possibly get in because I was just just had so much stuff on, it was just absolutely hectic. But I played a bit of this, and I've also had a bit of a look at the Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, which is kind of like an extension to this that adds a whole lot more complexity and options, like it really needs it. But it also adds a whole lot more challenge. That One of the things it adds is, see at the moment I currently have 45 dwarves. It adds a feature that allows you to have it so that you start getting attacked by frogmen and then werewolves and all these other different things that start once you hit 20 dwarves just to add more of a challenge to it. So you know I think that's really cool and I might even look at if, if I get wiped out or I get bored of this I might even look at going for that just to give myself a bit more of a challenge. But anyhow um, stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be doing a bunch of trading and hopefully continuing to make some really nice uh, weapons and armors and equipping my military. So again, thank you very much for watching. A stocky out.